Hello everyone and welcome to our adult directed drawing today. Now, what we're going to draw today are some shape pictures because we've been learning about some shapes. We've learned about circles and we learned about rectangles and triangles and squares. So why don't we use those shapes to make some pictures today? So I thought the first one we could try making is a train. A train. Do you think you could make a train using mainly rectangles and circles? Let's see. So what I'm going to draw first is, well first we need our pencil. Remember how you do it. Have your fingers, you lay your pencil down, you pinch, and then you can move it down like that. And then you readjust your fingers. What I'm going to draw first is my, um, the body of my train. So I'm going to draw a rectangle first. So I need to draw a short side, a long side. I might make it a little bit longer actually. And then another long side. And then I draw my short side. And then just make sure all my lines meet. And now that's my long ways rectangle. I'm going to draw another rectangle here and it's going to go up. So I'm going to go up. Cross for my short edge, and then I'm going to go down right to the bottom, and I'm going to go across like that for my train. So I've got where the conductor is, and I've got the front of my train. I'm going to draw another little rectangle, the so long side, short side, long side, and I've got two short sides and two long sides for my rectangle. Now I'm going to draw some circles. And I'm going to draw some circles here along the bottom of my train. So I'm going to draw one circle, two circles, and draw three circles for my wheels. Now, a train normally has their wheels connected, and that's how they move. So what I'm going to do is draw a long rectangle across like that. Oop, put my page down. There, like that. It's a bit easier using the ruler, but I'm going to freehand it today. Now, I need to draw the window for my conductor, and I'm not going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to draw a square. Remember, a square has four sides that are all the same. So we're going to try our best to do that. We've got one, two, three, four. Four sides like that. And there we go. So I've got my train. You can always draw some smoke coming out of the um, steam stack there. Why? What other things could we draw if we are made out of shapes? We could draw a house. So I'm going to draw a house over here because I've still got lots of space on my paper. I'm going to draw a house. I'm going to draw a square for my house. So my squares have four sides that are the same length. And it's really hard to draw a square without a ruler, but we'll try our best. Oop, went over a little bit there. That's okay. Now I'm going to draw the roof of my house, which I'm going to use a triangle. And triangles have three sides. So here's my first one. One, two, three. I got three sides for my triangle. I'm going to draw my door, which I'm going to use the shape of a rectangle. So remember, I need two long sides and two short sides. So one and two. And I'm going to draw the windows now. Now the windows can be whatever shape you want. You can have them circle, triangle, square, rectangle. I'm going to draw mine as squares the best I can. Go. 
Oh look, I made one, two, three, four little squares in the window as well. Look at that. And I'm going to draw a circle window in my for my attic. And I'm going to draw a circle for my doorknob for my house. Let's see, what else could we draw? I guess we could draw a, some flowers, couldn't we? So what we could do is draw some rectangles for the stem of our flower. We could draw a circle for the middle, the yellow pollen bit. And what you could do is draw some triangles to be the the petals of your flower. See how I'm just doing the triangles? The best I can. As long as you got three sides on your triangle, it doesn't matter. And now I'm going to draw. Um, Let's do for the petal, uh, for the, the leaves on it. Maybe you can choose. I'm going to do some more rectangles just because I think they look a bit more like the leaves because they're long, aren't they? And maybe what we could do is you could draw some more. Um, you could also draw people with some shapes as well. You could draw a circle for their head, a rectangle for their body. You could draw another rectangle for their legs. I'm going to draw um, some more rectangles for their feet. Oh, you can't see that. There we go. Rectangles for the feet. You could draw another rectangle for his arms and I'm going to draw squares for his hands. Like that. Kind of reminds me of a Minecraft character. They're very blocky looking, aren't they? There. So there's lots of things you can draw using our shapes. So we've used circles and squares. We've used lots of rectangles and we've used some triangles as well. Well done everyone. I hope that you could draw me some more shape pictures. They don't have to be like these shape pictures. You can make some more shape pictures if you like and colour them in and send them to me. I look forward to seeing your pictures. Take care everyone.